So I wanted a second variac and also needed it for adjusting an inside voltage in a mains circuit all powered by my bigger variac. But considering that money don't grow on trees like babies do, I had an idea. Let's rewind an expendable transformer and make it into an auto transformer with several taps that are put on a selector. This way we can have an adjustable output and also make another winding, this time insulated, with fewer turns but uh, also with taps on the same transformer and put that winding on another selector. This way uh, such winding can be added in series with the auto transformer section and have a coarse uh, setting and a fine setting. This is uh, 12 positions and this is 5. So 12 times uh, 5 is 60. So it's uh, 60 steps and it can also go uh, past the 100% and have like uh, 4 volts of steps. The transformer comes from a computer UPS that was rated for like 600, 800 volts amps, so it was a kind of medium sized one. And originally it has the low voltage windings made with really thick uh, aluminum wire. In fact, one particular of this transformer is that it's made with aluminum wire. And I reused the enamored wire of the primary winding to make the auto transformer. And considering that aluminum can't be soldered, I used the screw on posts to make the taps. And anyways, I made the kind of same amount of turns of the primary to make the auto transformer. And anyways, as a note, you maybe know that in my channel, aluminum wire and fake components are a must. This is the schematic, and as you can see, there are the two windings, one as auto transformer and one as regular transformer. Okay, let's try this thing. Let's power it on. Okay, you can hear that it buzzes a bit, not because it's under stress, but because maybe I made the windings a bit too loose and it's vibrating a bit. Anyways, this is the minimum voltage uh, with the minimum setting. This is one step of the course setting that adds uh, a bit more than 20 volts, as you can see. This is the fine setting that adds uh, like uh, 4 volts per step at every position of the course setting. Okay, this is the <laughs> my main voltage at the moment that is uh, quite high. In fact, we can go past, okay, 260 volts out of this variac at the moment. And you have uh, five steps per step in here. Okay, now let's power a load. Let's turn it on. Course setting. One hundred percent. More than one hundred percent. Let's see the fine setting. Yeah. Okay, now let's see a purpose of uh, this thing. Now it's connected to the output of my bigger variac. The power is on. We have a kind of 30% setting. Let's crank the variac. The light bulb turned on. The neon indicator. And 
and the bulb is not too bright but the variac is at maximum and you can see it's buzzing a bit it's also the chassis We have a limited 100%. Okay, so thanks for having watched my video. And if you like Variax, and you do, I have another two projects to show you. One is the Inducto Variac, that is an inductor with a ferrite core made like a Variac, and it's here. The other is my patented Nintendo Ballast Board, that is a way to limit the current instead of the voltage, like for a Variac, gradually, and it's here. So I think at this point, uh, let's say goodbye for now.